What do you do when you're thrown into that furnace? Few things I want to underline if you're taking notes. Right, one is don't go there alone. The three boys went there together. Three musketeers. Uh, they did not get thrown alone. They want three together. If you are right now at this season where a lot of things are shut down, some of you are in states where you cannot get out of the house, can you be with your family? Be with your two other, three other siblings under 10 though. No, no, no. I'm not talking about that you finally father, like, oh, finally, kids are home. <laughs> Let's get the garage painted. <laughs> Let's fix the sprinklers. Everybody's home. Can you be together? If your family is in a different state, take this time to reconnect with your family. Take this time to build community. Spend time being with your family. It's a good thing to be with your family. Two or three are gathered in my name. Jesus says, I am among them. And these three guys were there and they were there together. Something happens when you are in unity. It's easier to fight fear, depression, anxiety and disappointment. Something happens when you come together. Even if all of you right now are struggling financially, the presence of you together helps you to fight the fear. Number two, I want you to notice that happened is when they got there, they got loosed from their chains. They went there bound, they got out loosed. The second thing that I want to say, when you are together with your family, when you are on a lockdown in your house, don't let the robe of fear bind you. Loose yourself from the robe of doubt, from the robe of unbelief. Loose yourself from the robe of what's going to happen to us. We're gonna lose our job. Loose yourself from the rope. If one of the if one of your siblings is sneezing, or if one of your siblings is coughing, loose yourself from the rope. That's it. That's it. We're gonna die. Loose yourself from the robe of fear. That what's happening right now on the news, what's happening right now in the stores, what's happening with toilet paper, what's happening with all of these restrictions on our communities could unintentionally. I don't think the president, the governor and our authorities and health, uh, health people, they're not doing that intentionally but the, the enemy can use the facts to bring fear into our life. And when we are alone in the furnace, we have to be loosed from fear. Let fear be outside but it cannot be inside of our house. In our house, fear has no place. That means in our house we have love, we have peace and we have joy in the Holy Spirit. In our house we have the presence of God. In our house we have the joy of the Lord. In our house we have faith. In our house we have victory. In our house we have hope. In our house we have future. In our house we have light. In our house it's not a place of darkness. In our house you turn to your children and say we're gonna get through this. You turn to your spouse and says this too shall pass. You turn to your other person and say yes we might have to live tight for a little bit but we will get through this. We will be loosed from our bounds. Loosed from our chains. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. We're gonna be loosed. Number three, the Bible says they walked. Watch this. Not only they got loosed, they started to walk in that furnace. Now there was not a lot of uh, room there. Um, maybe it's like a, this stage. So not a lot of walking back and forth, but they were walking. See what caught King's attention is not only that they were free, it's the fact that they were walking. So what I want to talk about right now is this, is while you are on the lockdown, start to walk. Meaning work on the things you did not have time to work on before this. Which projects were late, were held back because you were busy? Which books needed to be read but you just did not have time? Which toilet is still leaking in the house? Which sink is still leaking at the house? Which sprinkler is still broken? Which book that's supposed to be? Somebody needs to start writing it and it's laying there. Which song needs to be written? Which project needs to be completed? Which blog needs to be started? Which idea needs to be implemented? Begin to walk. Not only be loosed but also begin to walk. Now you might not have a lot of space but you do have the time and begin to walk. Why? Because before you can walk out you have to learn to walk in. The Bible says they were beginning to walk and then this is what happens. The, the, the king said this, they were walking in the midst of the fire and they were not heard. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Can I mention the next thing is Jesus is with you right there where you are at right now. I had this situation one time and I asked God for answers. Why did you allow this to happen? Why was this? 
not resolved like I thought it would be resolved and I even had prophetic words that helped me to have a certain expectation and it didn't work out like that and as I prayed I said Lord give me an answer Lord give me an answer and I never got the answer and I felt the Holy Spirit said he says I never gave Job an answer of why his suffering came I gave him my presence Joseph did not get an answer why his brothers rejected him but he always had God's presence with him and I just want to tell somebody right now David says in in Psalm he says though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death when God doesn't give you answers he gives you his presence when God doesn't give you answers he gives you his peace and so while it's good to ask for an answer it's good to say God give me an explanation God you need to tell me why but what I want to tell you this is don't let your why stop you from receiving his presence and his peace because in here it does not say that Jesus gave them an answer of why this happened he just showed up the Bible says the king asked the boys, the men, the young men to come out and when they came out the king started to praise God and then the king, the Bible says he did this and the king promoted these guys in the province of Babylon. I want you to rise. If you're at home, keep sitting. It's okay. Remember, God is able God will, God promised. But even if not, if your deliverance is delayed, don't let it derail your devotion to God. If you are in quarantine right now, I want to encourage you, spend time with your family. I want to encourage you as a pastor, be loosed from fear. And don't get bound by sins of alcohol, sins of pornography, and sins of entertainment and sense of just just be drowned with all of that be loose from that and begin to walk don't get stuck walk if you get stuck you're gonna stink but if you walk if you're gonna begin to get proactive whatever you can do in your house in your yard on your computer begin to do something that you couldn't do before because you didn't have time something begins to happen one day you will walk out but I just want to remind you right there where you are at in the midst of getting the phone call that your job no longer exists that you're not gonna get paid for the next 40 days and you don't know maybe how you're gonna pay for your bills Jesus is there he might not give you an explanation but he's giving you his presence he's giving you his word and I have a word for you God will use your story to bring him glory God will glorify himself in your life it's not just about your kids your job your business and your career it's about God's fame and God will get the glory once you come out of this you're gonna have a better job once you come out of this you're gonna have a better resources that will be coming in I believe things will turn around for our better and we will look at this moment and we will say you know what this is where a lot of stuff was birthed a lot of stuff was rethink we had to revalue certain things now we save money differently we spend money differently now we invest things differently now our discipleship in church is different because we had to kind of reevaluate different things and God will not only promote you but God will promote his name